so welcome to the first installment of Dan and Chuck. You're, you're first. Dan and Chuck, I'm yeah. first. I'm okay. actually first alphabetically, but you're first. Yeah, but people like me more. Uh, well, you got a bigger name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so today is a video about why we make videos and why it's odd to us that people wonder why we make videos. Uh, for the regional or local mixed martial arts fighter, Primarily the fighter and the fans are the one that generate interest for the fighter's career. I mean, when you make it to what, UFC or Bellator level, you get like, I mean, you were there. I mean, they had guys following you around with video cameras all the time, right? Yeah, it's insane. Like, the PR at the top is huge, but they only follow around the main guys even in the UFC. So, all and those PR yeah. firms are getting paid hundreds of dollars an hour. Oh, yeah, it's, they make bank. Fighting is not what most of us do for a job. It's not what most of us even do. So you have day jobs most of the time. Yeah. So and in addition to fighting and training, you're working and taking care of kids. And if you have relationships, you try to foster your relationship with your wife or your girlfriend. Now, not to say that many local and regional mixed martial arts fighters don't have the goal someday to make it their primary career. In fact, many do. But every one of them on their way, no one does this. No one does these videos. No one does call out. To some, it, it seems kind of like a pro wrestling thing where these call out videos are, you know, over dramatic and, 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 um, and ego driven. They partially are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but the Ego point is, is is to generate interest for the fighter and the fight. And I guess if we're talking about Coliseum Combat, I mean, look at how much Mark Slater personally in Coliseum Combat gives back to the community of Kokomo. So anything that we do to generate interest in something that Mark Slater is involved in benefits our community. Yes, but it doesn't makes sense to say why don't we put our time and energy into something more productive like a charity and see what happens instead of these call out videos because all we want to do with this is get recognition for everybody we're trying to to further dan's career now, i'm not making a dime off of any of this um you know maybe yeah. at some point it it it, it, it will you know be a for-profit business but that's that's not the reason for my uh, dedication to this Say what you want about the individual. He knows what it's like to market himself as a product. Yes. Branding? Is that what they call it? Branding? Yes. Conor McGregor is a brand. And it's because of his personality. He does surround himself with excellent people that know how to help market himself, but it's driven by his personality because he knows what sells. Would you agree yes. with that? Yes. Another start. purpose of the video is to is is to show the videos in plural uh, to show uh, uh, the fighter's struggle and 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 the uh, I mean I can say my journey in the last two years of knowing Dan my perception of a regional or local MMA fighter has changed hundreds of percent I mean it's completely turned around 180 degrees mm -hmm. because I know a fighter and but most people don't you know most yeah. people have this glorified version of what this sport is and it is a sport anyone that has ever worked a nine-to-five to feed their family and had also something that they're very passionate about it's very mm -hmm. difficult to strike that balance it's always difficult and that's a big purpose of these videos is to show how much of a struggle and to raise the general respect yeah. right when you feel someone you you get this new respect for the art of it you when you see the training you get more respect for what they're doing leading up to january we want to take you on some of the training camp journey some of the you know, this is this dude clocking in at work 40 hours a week, but this is what he's doing when he's not at work. And that's what's crazy, is people don't understand how much goes into taking a fight, but then how much it is not really your life. But it's all you can think about as a fighter, too. 
Because if you are going to be fighting someone, you can't think about much else leading up to it or you're not going to do very well. So you've got to be able to separate it all and still try and seem like a normal human being.